Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. So today I am uber excited to come to you with my thoughts on that new Parfums de Marly fragrance. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Before we get started with the video, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Roxanne and this is Roxanne's Retreat. If this is your first time joining me, thank you and welcome. And if you've been here before and you decided to come back, big up your whole self. Truly appreciate your continued support. And you know what? Please subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, like if I'm your cup of tea. Just do that, all right? Be right back with my thoughts. Okay, so let's talk about the new drip from Parfums de Marly. So this is Parfums de Marly's Althair. I don't know how to say it, y'all. We'll pop up the name. <laughs> I'll sound it out. I don't know. But this is the new fragrance from the house of PDM. So to me, this fragrance is the epitome of fall. From the color of the bottle, from the packaging, to the juice on the inside. Now, this is a sweet, warm, woodsy, vanilla fragrance. In the opening, so as it opens, it opens with a burst of freshness with that um, bergamot. But then out of nowhere, bam, here comes Mr. Bourbon Vanilla in him pushy self. But I'm here for it because it's sweet, it's sexy, it's alluring, it's enveloping, all of the things. So Mr. Bourbon Vanilla, he comes through a right away. <laughs> then as the fragrance starts settling down a little bit, maybe about an hour into the wear, I get a little bit, a different type of sweetness with a slight creaminess, just slight. And I think that's coming from the orange blossom. And I'm also here for it because I love me some orange blossom in a fragrance. Then, y'all, then here comes the dry down. In the dry down, what's pulling on my skin is that praline. And the praline is giving it more sweetness with that kind of caramel kind of vibe. So I'm getting like caramel, vanilla, the cinnamon is in the background. It's not playing anything but a backup role in this fragrance. And then as it dries down a little bit further, I get a slight, slight smokiness. And I think that that's coming from the Gayak wood. I mean, what can I say? This is yummy, y'all. This is delicious. So in terms of performance, I sprayed this fragrance on, by the way, this was my scent of the day. I sprayed this fragrance on this morning about 6 a.m. And right now it's about 7 p.m. And I'm still getting whiffs of it. I did not respray and I'm still getting it. It's just still so pretty. At about hour eight, while I was walking down the ha hallway in a facility, a resident stopped me and said, oh my gosh, you smell so good. So it was still doing its thing at hour eight, which leads me to believe that the projection and the sillage is moderate. Moderate for sure. In terms of pricing, this fragrance retails for 350 US dollars for the 125 ml and $250 for the 75 ml. The words that come to mind when I think of this fragrance, um, unisex for sure, well blended. I get that Parfums de Marly DNA, which is, you know, it's a niche house, but most of their fragrances, most of them are fairly mass appealing most of them. Um, I get like a casual elegance with this fragrance, a kind of everyday vibe, and I'm definitely loving it. Yes, indeed. In terms of when to wear this, I think it's perfect. It's a perfect drop for the season. This is definitely a fall fragrance and will definitely do well in the cooler months. Granted, it was almost 90 degrees here today in Florida and your girl wore it. 
But did I die? Did I die? No, I didn't. <laughs> so a lot of people might say, is it worth it? Well, to me, beauty is always in the eyes of the beholder or in the nose of the smeller. <laughs> Something like that. For me, me love it. Me love it. I love it. Get your nose on it and you decide for yourself if this fragrance is worth it. In terms of fragrances that this reminds me of, I really can't think of anything in my collection that this reminds me of. I, I have no idea. I'm looking around in my collection and there's nothing. All my vanillas, nope, this does not remind me of any fragrance that I currently have. So this is definitely not going to be redundant. All in all, this fragrance, this fragrance right here is for all of we. It's for him, her, man, woman, child, he, she, it, I, you, they, everybody. This fragrance is definitely unisex and I think anybody can pull this off. Absolutely for sure. And I can't wait to smell this on my guy. Okay, y'all, so that brings us to the end of the video. I just wanted to jump on and give you my thoughts on a Parfums de Marley's out there. I can't say it, y'all. I can't say it. Don't butcher me. I'm, <laughs> I mean, don't crucify me as I'm butchering the name of the fragrance. So let me know. Have you gotten your nose on this fragrance? Do you like it? Do you love it? Are you going to get it? Did you already pick it up? Did you blind buy it? What did you do? Anyways, Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Sub um, <laughs> consider subscribing <laughs> if you have not already done so. Follow me on Instagram. Also, remember, you can be anything in this world that you want to be. But while you're doing this thing, while you're getting there, while you're working hard, while you're persevering, smell like good people. Smell like good people. Always smell fabulous. See y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.